Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to insert an online picture into a Word document and then to also do some text wrapping around it. So I just have some dummy font, some dummy text here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to insert and then I'm going to choose online pictures. So I can, you know, find whatever picture I want to. The nice thing about using online pictures is that it will um, use Creative Commons so that you are following copyright rules and you're not claiming a picture or stealing a picture. So let's say I want a picture of a puppy. So let's see what comes up. Oh my goodness, this one looks adorable. It's like a little fluff ball. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that. Okay, so you can see it kind of stuck it right in the middle here. Okay, now that I have this picture, I'm going to want to probably shrink it. So I'm going to grab the corner up here and shrink it down. Okay, then this little thing right here, I call it the rainbow. It's the layout options. You can click on it and there's different types of text wrapping. So it kind of does exactly what it looks like. Square means it forms a square box around it to put the text around it. Tight would be if this was a shape other than a square, it would kind of go around it. Through would be that it could even go through the picture if there was empty spaces in it. Top and bottom would be kind of like what I have right now where it just goes to the top and bottom. Behind the text is what it sounds like. It moves it behind the text. And then in front of the text, again, is what it sounds like it goes in front of the text. Most likely you're going to want to use square, so I'm going to do that, and you can see now the words are wrapped all the way around it, and I can move this around, and it will adjust the text around what I have. And again, if I decide to make this smaller, it will adjust the text around it as well. And that is basically it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below or shoot me an email. And as always, stay techie. Bye.